Hey guys, wanted to do a quick little breakdown of how I edit videos and how I go about projects in terms of what do I do first, what do I do second, what is the next step, how do you do this? So we have a project right here and the first thing we need is to import all our footage. Now we have the footage here and now we have the voice over here. We can name it voiceover just so we know and we can name it main footage but you wouldn't do that it's just for this tutorial so you can exactly see what is what okay so the second thing that you would do is create a new bin which will be the footage bin and you can put these two here so now you start organizing everything when you start the project so you get a clean good looking project other beans that you will create is like stock music sound effects animations but i will tell you everything so first you have the footage now we bring the footage on the timeline and we bring the audio on the timeline we align the two things so it's starting to get together and if we have aligned it and it's aligned then we can check if the voiceover is actually good and if it lines up actually with the main thing so let's yes it, align it lines up so we can unlink the clips delete this actually we can delete the whole track and then link the clips together now you see a clear footage in front of you that's great and with a good voice good audio so now we can color grade it we just apply an easy color grade right now just to make sure everything is good and everything is great right we have the color grade and we have the audio this is important because if you start cutting and you don't have the color grade and you don't have the audio you won't be able to do it well after it like if i cut here and i cut here and i change this then I have to change this as well, and then I have to change this as well. So it's easier to change the basic things in the beginning, so you don't have to worry about them later. Now we got audio, and we got great, great image. The problem is that the audio that I just played is only on the left side. So what you can do again is just change track type to mono. And now it's not stereo, it's mono, it's very good. Next step is to have the rough cut. We need to cut down the footage. We need to cut down the spaces, cut down everything. So what I will do is look, look for the start and just cut here, cut out the mistakes. You will probably have something like this by the end of it with a good flow. You can watch this from the front to the end and it will sound like a real video, like a good video that you actually would watch. And now we can spice it up. We have the bass, we have the color, we have the audio. Now we can start spicing it up. Now we can go in and think about what I'm saying and how can we make this better? How can we add zooms? How can we add effects? And how can we add anything that will make the video better? Or there is another path. Like I used to do this. I used to do the first way, doing this rough cut and then I'm starting adding effects and doing this and doing that. But nowadays I do quite different things. So if I have this and I'm right here, the next thing I would do is add music. So I would get here, add my music and create a vibe that will lead me to creating a good video. I know the music, I know where is the cuts, where is the things in the music and it gives me idea of what to put in the visual side of the things. Having the clear music actually helps me edit the whole visuals. In my own opinion, visuals is the hardest part of editing. So I usually put music here and don't forget as soon as you bring something to the project, you have to organize it. Now it would be a good time to create your music bin and just put the music in it. And now you add the music and you have the vibe. And now if you have the vibe, you can add the effects, add the animations. This is why you have to create the stock and animation. Stock is where every picture, emoji, every GIF going, and animation is where the Photoshop files and the harder animations are going that you are doing in Fusion tab. This is why it has two different bins. And if you have the animation and effects that I did here, yes, it's just solid colors, but just a showcase. I have the music and I have the animation right here. Everything is ready to go. So now we can dive into the most fun part of editing after the music, of course, is creating sound design. So I just make sure that I see where the things are and I put sound here. And of course, I make sure it's in the sound effects. I have a lot of sound effects on my SSD, but I have some of the essential sounds on my PC I mean on my MacBook so I can just drag them in the folder and I have it ready to go and now if I just add the sound design I just go over the effect and I check what would be the sound and you can start to see it all building out slowly the video is building out slowly we have done everything step by step in an organized way which makes it easier to edit and will give you more organization and you can easier switch up the thing because after you send a video and they tell you that oh this is bad this is bad you can easily change this because you organize the project from the beginning and of course every one of these folders could receive a different video and i made some videos on different topics 
and I will make some more videos on different topics, but right now it's not about the sound effects and how to do sound design or anything like this, it's more about how do you go about creating a project, how is the actual good way to store your files, what is the step-by-step -step way to edit videos and what I do. I'm not telling you to do this, this is what I do. If you want, you can copy it. And now when I have sound design, I have everything ready, I just go about and just watch the video, the full video and see what is going on, how does it look, is it good enough. And while I'm watching, I realize that, oh shit, I need to put something here. So what should I put here? I don't know. Oh shit, I'm actually lucky because I just made a video describing what to do when you're stuck. So I'm gonna watch it right now and then continue this project.